Good morning, everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to square a piece of wood to a perfect dimension. Uh, you are going to go and make these four pieces of wood prior to starting your project, which is this one here. Now again, this is the project that you're going to be making in class. It takes a lot of fundamental woodworking skills to get to this level. But I'm going to show you one skill today, which is how to square a piece of wood to a perfect dimension. Now you're going to make a piece of wood perfect, four inch by six. So you're going to cut and plane it down to a perfect dimension. Not just a four by six, but it's got to be a perfect four inches wide, perfect six inches long. Right? When with, you need a square. And a square is a measuring device where you have a ruler that has a 90 degree angle here. And the 90 degree angle actually creates a squareness on the side of a piece of wood, as you can see. So you're going to need this to check it for squareness. You are going to make this piece of wood perfectly square, four inches wide by six inches long. And you need a square to check for 90 degrees. And also, you're gonna need it to make sure that is nice and square to the face of a piece of wood. The edge and the face is gonna be square. So that's where you're going to get a nice straight edge right across. Now I'm going to show you how to do that. And you're going to make, first of all, a piece of wood that measures four by six. Then you're going to make a three by five. Okay. And then you're going to make a two by four. And the last one is you're going to make a one by three. Now, once you have these four pieces done, you should be able to square a piece of wood with no problem. Now, in addition to just making this piece, also, you're gonna notice that there are numbers on here. See, there are numbers, four by six, three by five, and vice versa. So you can see that what we are actually creating is a ruler. So in this class, you're going to make your own ruler because if I need a piece of wood that measures, oh, let's say um, uh, 11 inches. So six and five would make 11. Right, there's 11 inches right here without having to measure with the Here is a ruler that you will use in class. But if I measure five and six, here you see it is 11. Okay, so if I need to add another piece to it, one inch, this will make 12 inches or one foot. And you do not need a ruler because if you make this thing accurate, you will have your own exact ruler in class. Now making this four pieces, or these four pieces, you will in fact be able to do a lot more with it. So let's say for instance, I need to know where three quarter of an inch is on a piece of wood. Well, this piece of wood automatically is three quarter inches thick. So I can feel it. I know that this is the dimension of three quarters wide. Here is one inches. After a while, you're gonna to start to know where one inch is by the feel of your hand. Another now, cool thing that uh, these blocks will help you with is uh, you can use these as gauges uh, because if I need to make pieces of wood spaced apart by a certain distance, all right, I don't have to measure. In the old days, you would have to say, well, if I'm making a fence, I need each one about four inches apart. I would have to take one picket, put it here, and then I make another one in between there. I got to measure four inches and then put the next picket fence right here. Then I go, have to go to the next one here. Uh, that is four inches apart. But that's a lot of work. But if I made a gauge like this, see it says four right here. All I have to do is I take one piece of wood, put it right against it, the next one right here, I slip that one out, put this one in here, and then the next one comes in, and then I can do this through infinity, and it's always going to be four inches apart. And that's why you make this gauge, because this actually will help you in your measurements.